When are you going to inflate, buddy? Oh, so you inflate when I jump over you. Nice. I love you too, pal. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 9 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortexius. So, we'll be doing the level known as Crash and Burn, which does have a secondary gem. Now, I did go over with some people in Discord and on Twitter and stuff, and they said that they technically don't really care that we do 100% as long as we just show off a majority of the game and beat the final boss. So, that's a thing. Also, sadly, the graphics aren't like my Spiral playthrough where, um, you know, they're like HD awesome graphics. Simply because this game, unless you're playing on Vulcan, which sadly I can't use Vulcan, uh, you'll have to actually play in lower graphics, which is really a bummer because the game just looks terrible like this. But it still gets it done, you know? Also, why would I need the jumpy platform if I had that? Also, I think we have the fruit... Oh, it's L1. What a weird... Uh... Oh, and it's R1 to fire. That's really weird. Yeah, we have the fruit Zooka now, which can make it so we can destroy all these threats without ever having to go to them. Um, what the heck was that? I'm pretty sure it's a death platform here, so... And after playing Enter the Dragonfly, man, I, I cannot get used to these graphics worth a darn. Oh, I almost died. Also, why would I ever need, um... To use that jumpy thing? Like, I swear this game is just like, oh yeah, you have that ability now? Here, we'll make you use it despite it not actually being that useful. Still don't like these inverted controls compared to the uh, Insane Trilogy on my Xbox. I don't get why they do that. Also, once again, if there is a death platform, the bonus platforms before, kind of like I mentioned in um, at the Insane Trilogy. Also, there's 138 boxes here. That's a lot. Holy cow. How did I glide over that? Like, I literally just glided over it. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Are you serious? I lost Aku Aku because of that. And we gotta go back up here. That lizard could have killed me too. Why would there be like some kind of like high tech laboratory over there located next to a volcano? Like, like, let's be real here, game. Who, who designed this? Don't pull a dum-dum and bounce over top of the crates again. Wait. How do I get that without... Wait, how do I have Aku Aku? Did that Aku Aku count? I'm so confused with what actually happened. My jump seems floaty compared to Spyro. That's what's, I think, screwing me over, is just the sheer like, jankiness of my jumps. Yeah, well, you can destroy that. Oh. Well, we might as well wait. Because we can at least destroy these. Okay, that just wasn't locking on for whatever reason. Oh, I hate the... the side view of the, um... of the, uh, bazooka. It's just so bad. Oh. This is a challenge, really? And you know what the sad part is? I guess technically. Whoa, that's not at all what I meant to do, but okay, game. Calm down. Okay, I kind of don't want to bounce on that one five times, so I'm just going to destroy it. And there we go, there's all 44 boxes. That's a lot of boxes, though. Let's be real. Now, how many do we actually have? We have 80 out of 138, so it's only 58. Sad part is, if we die, we definitely can't get the death platform. Also, Mr. Krabby, get out of the way. Mr. Dive Bomb Bird. Luckily, you can just kind of wait for them. I don't know if the, the ice 
steam, whatever you want to call it, the ice vapor actually hurts you or not, so we're, we're not going to test that theory out. And we already got like 90, whoa, I didn't see that crab there, just saying. Alright, there's lots of nitro. I don't know if they'll give you nitro switches anymore now that you got this, the, the fruit the fruit zooka or is it wampa zooka? I think it's just the fruit zooka, right? But so far we haven't missed a single gem. Also, another checkpoint already. This level actually has like a lot of checkpoints, not gonna lie. Oh yeah! The death platform here is in one of the most notorious spots ever known in... in a crash game. Sheesh. Oh man, I could've got that Echo Echo and I'm pretty sure I needed that to get the death platform. Not because it's impossible without it, it's just extremely difficult, you know? So I gotta take this little elevator down and dodge these boulders, which I'm pretty sure are extremely notoriously hard to, you know, dodge. Maybe not the, oh, the cat, yeah, because there's the death platform right there. Now you're fine if you wait right there. Anyways, there's the death platform. Nice. Hopefully it's not too bad. That's a lot of nitro. Like, what I hate about this game versus the other Crash games is that they're, they have like a weird obsession with nitro crates in different areas. Also, how are they not blowing each other up? Wait a minute, if this is a death platform, I'm gonna have to die again to go back. Why would I ever destroy the nitro unless it's absolutely in my way? Like right there, for example, like that's easy enough. Also, it's really hard to see the uh, cracks from certain angles. Or for example, like these nitro crates right here are kinda in the way. I don't even know what I was destroying there, but I was destroying something. Oh, I'm locked onto the one in the distance. It just not showing the uh, green, um, the what should I call it? The green. Uh... Whoa! I should have probably died there, but I didn't, so I'll take it. When's this platform gonna come back up? There we go. Oh, there's the gem over there. And we failed it. Nice. I'll just get that one on my own time, so you guys don't have to suffer through it, because that's just going to take a billion years. Like I said, we're just mainly uh, beating the game. We're not really going to uh, get everything. Because you guys had already voted for that, not to worry about that. And I almost went to the death platform anyway. Wait, unless... Is there a way I can kind of cheese it by going this way for a bit? Maybe I can kind of cheese it. I don't think I can. I was going to cheese it by, um... Just destroying everything and then going back, but I don't think I can do that. Wait, that mystery box didn't give me anything. Like, not even Wumpa Fruit. That's just weird. Wait, why are they like blue flames, but then shoot that out? Oh yeah, we didn't even have the crystal yet. Woohoo! Well, at least we got... Don't pull an Ensign Trilogy thing and get the... Have the gem get col not collected and go through the portal. That was embarrassing. That was like, just terrible. I forget what level that was in too. Alrighty, next we have Gold Rush, which is another really long level that I think also has a death platform. Which is annoying. Bring it! Brain Dead Bandicoot. Brain Dead Bandicoot? Did you just call me Brain Dead, bro? I don't appreciate these insults, dude. 209 boxes, yeah! And we got these puffy cacti that... Oh look! 
a reference to uh, Crash 2, I'm pretty sure that is. When you go to those levels that, like, the bonus area was, like, kind of underground. Oh, yeah, and Donkey. Go back to Shrek, you fool. You bucktooth varmint. Also, those birds are really easy to avoid for whatever reason. We also haven't found any nitro yet. Also, it's really weird, because this is like the only level of its con- Ah, uh, of course. At least give me a life, thank you. Alrighty, we got some tricky platforming here to do. Not necessarily tricky, just annoying platforming, because platforming in this game is not fun, but we'll take this pathway. The music got really weird there for a second, it like sped up. Only 36. Man, the last level had more, and it was a bigger level. Or a smaller level, so... There we go, perfect. Now, I want to blow this one up just in case, because once again, don't know if there's going to be a nitro switch. I, that wasn't even locked on, but I'll take it. I only have 16 more boxes to go in here, though, and a bunch of them look like they're gonna be Nitro, or Nitro, TNT. That's not Nitro. And there we go, that's all the boxes. We just have to wait for this one to blow, because I think stepping on the platform screws it up. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see how many we have. 70! Normally, that's like almost all the boxes done in any Crash game, except for this one. Because they're just like, yeah, we'll make it extremely agitating to 100%. It's also a lot of nitro, holy cow. And another life up here. How many lives are we at? 80. And this game is difficult. We don't have save states or anything like that, even though I'm pretty sure you can. Like, you can use save states, but... Actually, you know what? Instead of being stupid... Fire in the hole. Sure, I won't get... Oh, yeah, this part. These sections make crash games slog on, or not crash games, this game slog on way too long. Subble actually has like a lot of little miniature gimmicks in it too, it's like they had so many ideas that they just wanted to shove into one uh, game that it just feels really kind of weird. I think that's why the level ended up being as long as it is. Also, why is it the only level like this? Actually, I'm pretty sure one of the bonus levels is technically um, like this, too. Alright, so we have to go up to... Um, you press A to gain speed, and then you... Or A. X to gain speed, but then you press square to go up. Okay, well, we missed that box, so we're not getting 100% here, so let's just move on. I swear, I just missed that one box. I'm going to be salty. Because I am not backtracking through all of this. This is so slow-paced. I don't know why pressing square just didn't work there, but it just straight up didn't, and it was annoying. I love how they make you get down just for boxes, but then I feel things exploding. That's great. Oh yes, the uh, the hillbilly TNT man. That's only the explosion that hurts you, by the way, so don't worry. We only have 111. Also, where the heck is the um? Oh, that was beautiful. I was gonna say, where's the death platform? There it is. I was right, it was a death platform. Joyce to me. Can oh yeah, these rocks fall, so don't stand on them for more than like half a second. Oh god, yeah, this level is bad with slowdown. Also, those TNT just straight up didn't explode for whatever reason, which is kind of funny. Oh! Did not know the bridge was gonna fall. Nice to know that things would ex or fall there again, but you know, you do you, I guess. Whoa, that TNT was not at all where I thought it was. Wait, is that the gold gem? 
It is the gold gem. Nice. Now we have to die and lose our double Aku Aku, but we need the crystal. Because our primary goal of this Let's Play is just to beat the game, which might actually only be one or two more parts after this. Though we can kind of get the Aku Aku back here, right? Because there's, yeah, there's this Aku Aku right here. Oh no, it turned into TNT. We got the gold gem, so that's good. And I believe we're on the home stretch now, which... Honestly, less of the levels, um, nitro than I thought. Which I don't even know why I'm bothering, because like... Like I said, we can't get 100%, so I might as well just... Bomb rush through it, you know? You can actually kill the cacti too when they're not inflated, which is kind of funny. When are you going to inflate, buddy? Oh, so you inflate when I jump over you. Nice. I love you too, pal. Just random nitro sitting there just chilling. Like some kind of little mini super villain. Oh no, not this again. Game, how many times do I have to tell you? The climbing in this is just trash. Like, downright utter trash. Oh, and you're gonna make me do it again. After some really weird platforming. Oh, the, the TNT exploding there was like, I thought like it something had knocked me off the edge and it was, was going to kill me or something. But yeah, I don't know why they drastically slowed down the climbing in this game as opposed to like the other crash games. I mean, even Spiral climbing up ladders was faster than this. And his weren't that good. Like, they weren't bad. Don't get me wrong. It just wasn't that great of a... of a gimmick. It, was just, it just felt kind of like it was just there, you know? It wasn't really... necessary. At least the music here is pretty good. I'll give, I'll give the game that. The music is pretty psychedelic. Look, the uh, crystal final. Noise. Hurry up and blow up. Wait, that blew up on my face and didn't even do anything, so I'm confused. Oh, wait, that's the uh, nitro switch up there. Oh, and I couldn't even get it anyway, because for whatever reason it was buggy, but. We can't get 100% anyway, I just want to see if we got everything other than the one. But there we go, we got the gold gem and the crystal, so that's all that matters, right? Right. I actually don't know if that's true. But yay. Now we have, what, two levels left? We have Cortex Vortex and Crate Balls of Fire. Let's do Cortex Vortex, because Crate Balls of Fire is not one I'm looking forward to. It is... A bad level. It's the stupid suit again. Oh, this level. Yeah, this is another level that's not so friendly to us. Because the weird, um... The weird angles like to screw you over in this. And I'm pretty sure this is a chase level, right? Which is something that's at least done once in every single crash game. Also, they're giving me a lot of Aku Aku, so that's kind of concerning. Alrighty, let's continue on. Oh, are you serious? I just slipped off the platform. Nice. Yeah, see those little speckles that are left behind too? They also hurt you. Not just the, um... Those will get blown up if we uh, detonate the uh, nitro. Now, I highly doubt they don't have a nitro crate or nitro uh, detonator here. The nitro detonator in the oh, I could have shot it too. Never mind. I didn't think of that. I always forget about the um, that ability. All right, so they don't really do anything. All right, so we got dangerous platforming here. Why are they red though? Is that like an indicator that something's gonna happen with them? Because I don't... Okay, never mind. I guess it just means that they're moving platforms and not uh, stationary, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that literally gave me, like, one Wumpa Fruit. That's not at all very useful, but thank you. Okay, this Let's 
next one might be one more episode, maybe. If we just do the main game. Also, there's our first checkpoint. Nice. The music here is pretty darn good, though. Like, this game isn't a bad game, it's just not a great game, you know? I honestly thought this one had a chase scene, or maybe it's the, the robot level that has the chase. I don't know. Oh, electric water? Okay. Or maybe just an electric floor? I can't actually quite tell if that's the floor or water. Adios, amigo. Woo! Alright, let's continue our way. Uh oh. Oh, darn it. Um, let's see. Oh, that's... There we go, we got it. Nice. Hopefully we get another... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, what's this for? Oh, I do not like that at all. So... Oh, that was really weird. We needed to aim up really high. Are you going to destroy everyone? Okay, I was going to say, are you going to destroy everyone but the nitro? Wait. It's a green gem platform. Nice. I guess we'll take this. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I almost touched that. That would have been not a good thing. Don't know how I made that either, but I made it work. Oh. I did not touch that. Thank you, game. Why is this level slowing down so bad? I think there's just too much going on in it. Also, since I'm not running in uh, the... the better version of this game, it's... Uh, mm, nice. Like, you know what? Since I know where that green gem is, I'm just gonna do it off-screen, because, let, let's be real, we've... We've all seen what it, where it is, and we know it's just a clear gem, so that's a thing. So, we're just gonna do that off-screen if I do it. Also, is that not seriously gonna hit the... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is that seriously not gonna hit the enemy from here? We are running into way too much slowdown to actually care about this level any more than we do. Okay, so for whatever reason, it's getting a little better now that we're over here. But still not great. Shoot, why do I want to wait for that to take three seconds when I could just do that and then body slam it now? Body slam! Alright, what's this way now? Oh. Okay then, that was a lot of uh, nitro. Oh, well, luckily now we can just run through all this with our invincibility. We almost have all the boxes. Also, your invincibility in this game lasts way less time than it normally does in other uh, Crash games. Whoa. I don't know why that like laser thing is right there. Oh, we did get the regular gem. So, nice. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and in the next episode, we will be finishing off the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Join the Patreon Discord if I didn't say that already.